Hi girls, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, did you hear the sound in the lift? Yeah, yeah. was it you with the speaker? Yes. Oh. I, I'm, yeah, I, I create that sound. Oh, right. Oh, yes. Wow. Can I ask you some like feedback or any okay. thoughts of the sound? Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah. Can I? Okay. Well, she was scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Scared. We were haunted I'm by the I'm elevator. Like, I'm sorry. Like, so yeah. 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 Uh, how 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 do you feel that the the, the sound just played? Yeah. I kind of felt like I was listening to someone's conversation that shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. I thought that it was like sending like somebody accidentally clicked the speaker on, and then they, it was just rummaging it felt like around. It a worrying malfunction for us. Yeah, it did. It, it felt a bit like. And then you said about the, the button, the button. Yeah, maybe someone pressed so the awful. emergency button and it picked up. And so then I did. I was a bit like concerned. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was definitely creepy. Yeah, <laughs> Is yeah. that what you intended? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I want to explore. <laughs> and how or did it um, change your perception, uh, perception, perception, yes, or perspectives yeah. of the spaces, of the lead. Mm. Yeah, well, it did. Yeah, yeah the sound. It felt like it yeah. might, it what might, it, it might just stop in the middle yeah, of the floor. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. It was like, well, then when it, we thought the alarm had been pressed, I thought then it might yeah. like. Were you recording us saying all that creepy stuff about the teacher? <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! My first impression was it's kind of like uh, some. You know the lift structure like has some some issue. Then the, each part is scratching the other part. Mm -hmm. then, like, mm -hmm. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Then then I I, I realized it's, it was uh, sound. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean the the a set a no a set uh, 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 and, uh, Mm -hmm. Like mix? Mixture. 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 Combine. No, synthetic. Synthetic. Uh -huh. Synthetic sound. Oh, uh, so. okay. But I can't, for just 20 seconds, I can't say pretty yeah. much about the, 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 the more deeper mm. reflection yeah. about this. Yeah. Probably exactly. for just yeah. just twenty seconds. That that's the kind of um, atmosphere. Make, yeah, it, it it just changes the atmosphere and mm. probably makes makes the, the the environment more weird and more weird, weird. special. Uh, yeah, yeah special. It, especially special, when it's something. combined with the 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 the, 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 um, the sound announcement. Yeah. The announcement. Okay. The, 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 the left announcement, so mm. it's kind of intense. Okay. Uh, how, yeah, how do you feel? If I'm a real music artist, if I have this sound, it will make me feel like this place. Mm. 注意力就从坐电梯变成了去感受这个声音，就就从放空啊，或者是等待这个东西，就变成了去利用这个声音去想东西。嗯，啊，去去想，没准这是一个什么那种感觉。嗯，就寻找在记忆里面寻找类似的
I mean, from what she said before or what she said, yeah. it's like yeah, it's give you. And another another factor is like because I know this building. Yeah. I know this is CSM. Yeah. I I I I, I used to go there before, right? So, yeah. but if it's somewhere that I never mm. go, yeah. never been that before, different. yes, okay. it's, it's very 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 scary oh. for me. If I don't know the place, yeah. and then and just another thing from uh, from what she said is like a, a sense of sound can 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 let you imagine about any places that yeah. happen. If I just imagine if if it's, if I enter into like a hundred floor building, floor, yeah, building, and with you sound. with yeah. that speakers yeah. and you you whatever sound that you make, you can make me imagine that what is gonna happen when it's open. Mm. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's like, for example, if you if you have a sound of a, like a crowded people in the concert, like mm. maybe I expect that it, when it open, I'm gonna see. Like, you can see that. You know. Yeah. It's about it can it can build up your imagination. Imagination, yes. Like live is still. Yeah. But, yeah. but it's about the expectation of what we are gonna see. Yeah. When but it's this open. is too familiar for you, so you don't have expectations. Yes. Right. And what do you think, or do you think it's changed your perspectives of the lift? Do you think, and how? For me, yes. <laughs> In the sense that um, I felt that the sound brought a new character to the lift. Ooh. It brought a new character to the lift in reference right. to what kind of lift it is because this is a lift in CSM but when during the first sounds the, the noise and the, the conversations it made me feel like the lift for me for me for real for me I, I the lift's door it even the, the color of the lift's door even changed for me it became red oh my god and it made me feel like I am inside a, a tube the tube station instead of the university. Yeah. yeah. So for me, that's why. That's why for me, I kept on looking at the outside because from the inside, I saw that for me, the context has changed. So I keep on looking at the outside, and I can see that it's more calm outside. And actually, my instinct is to to look for something that would calm me. So I was looking at the outside and I felt glad that for the first time that we uh, ascended, I think, there were no people co you know, coming inside. I, I felt really better. Mm. But when people come? Yeah, I, I feel a bit, a bit threatened. Like, uh, because for me, I think I have, uh, I think the lift really changed, it became the tube. Not only a lift inside the tube, but the tube itself. Because uh, the same patterns of behavior almost uh, grew inside me. Like, uh, I, I, it made me realize now that I actually hate it when people go inside the tube. It brings me a lot of peace when, let's say, for example, it stops at a certain station and then hardly anyone enters. Yeah, like Mornington Crescent makes me happy. Yeah. Because no one enters or no one leaves. It brings me so much pleasure, and that's also the, the same case for uh, Great Portland Street. There's hardly people. Uh, there's hardly any people who li leaves. Hardly peop uh, There's hardly any people who enters. Mm. So that's your but when you talk about Oxford Circus, Oxford Street, so many shh, yeah. Kings Cross. You know, Kings Cross. All of these, uh, you know, things. It's, it, 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 it's, it, that's why I think it stressed me out. Mm. Because I had this association with, because of course you know there, uh, there you have your PA, uh, you know automated voice yeah. Yeah. speaking, and then you have the, the noise of people, of crowded people, and then you you have the noise and the shake and everything. So for me, uh, again, believe it or not, I really saw it turn red, and now. Uh, while I'm talking, I'm, I'm trying to realize why it was red, and now I realize it's because I associated it with the tube itself, with the train. 
and even my behavior. Like when it opens, nobody's coming inside. Like. Uh, for me, in terms of the space, it became smaller. So I didn't see color. I didn't see this. But I remember when I stepped out. And now that we're talking about it, I remember what it feels like to get on these elevators normally. And I always think these elevators are very fast. They're super fast to get to the third floor, for example. I always thought that, or to get down. But this time, with this sound, it felt forever. It felt forever, it felt like we were in a very confined space because there were three more people, you and I. And it felt really, really, I, I experienced everything more intensely. Like, I don't notice the shaking, I don't notice the colors, I don't notice who's there. But this time, I was noticing everything, like, way more. And the space got smaller, and, you know, I was really aware of whatever. So I was, like, in a fight-or-flight mode a little bit. <clears throat> and, yeah, the, the journey was very long, because the sound was, at parts, very, very overwhelming and, and, and glitchy and, and uncomfortable. But you don't feel, but you still not reject it or... No, I'm kind of embracing the experience, but I was like, I'm fine. Like if it ended like 10 seconds earlier, I would be also okay. Mm. Or a little bit earlier. But it's it's too long. Yeah, like it felt, it's... One minute, two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's great.